What's going on? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be going through what softwares you should be using to make your business more efficient. There's four that I would recommend to any business owner today. The first one is Slack. It's a communication app which you can have on your phone and on your desktop. It's pretty much like WhatsApp but for your team. It's very, very good with what you can do. I'm going to run through and go through that exactly like how to use it. Number two is Trello. It's a task management software which pretty much does just that, that you can manage your tasks exactly what you're doing. And as a business owner, you can then create that for your employees to be on top of what are they up to, get them to fill it out, make sure it's all up to date. Number three is actually email management. Um, obviously email is a thing that everybody knows how to use, but most people go wrong with actually managing their inbox. They'll have an inbox full of 300 emails and it's, it becomes chaos. You don't know who you responded to, who you need to respond to. Is it all organized correctly? That's very, very important. I'm gonna go through that. And lastly, number four, it's about utilizing chat apps like WhatsApp um, with clients and how that's so much better than actually using email when it comes to the day-to-day -day going back and forwards. So yeah, those are the four things uh, that you should have, but I'm not just gonna tell you about it. I'm gonna show it to you. So let's get into it right now. The first one is Slack. All right, so let's get into it. So the first one is Slack, as I mentioned. So if you to quickly check out the website, it'll tell you more about it. It's actually free to use, which is very, very good. So if you're a new company, it's completely free, and um, which, which is great. You can pay to get some extra features, but yeah, as you can see from here, um, there's a bunch of things it can do. It's very, very used uh, by a lot of big companies. Um, you can see here from Airbnb, EA, Oracle. It's pretty much the, the main thing that businesses use now. So how does it work? So here we go, here it is. So once you've installed it on your, I, I use a Mac, so once it's on your Mac, it'll be here. And um, you can also have it on your phone. And um, I'll put that up here so you can see what it looks like on a mobile device. But ultimately this is what it is so you're probably familiar with whatsapp um, or any chat app so firstly you can create channels um, which is very very useful so let's say um, you can in here talk about different topics with different uh, things with your team number one like for us we work on different launches with different clients so we have a channel called influencer launch in which we jump in to like chat about different things it could be proposals it could be customer service it could be content it, it could be it could be a bunch of things so basically you can create channels and add the necessary people in those channels to make sure only the people that need to know are then discussing it you can mute channels like the ones you see here because you don't want the notifications you can customize the look of this i've done it black because that's our company with the logo um, and then you can go ahead and have one-on-one -on -one chat with people so if i was to click on sabrina who's one of our la team members here's my and hers chat what we've been talking about um, it's very useful you can do stuff in here other things that's very cool about it is you can um, add extensions so here's a Google Drive extension. It makes it very easy. So if someone ever shares a doc with you, it's right here. You can just click it. You can choose who should see it, who shouldn't. Um, other things that are pretty cool in here, you can add extensions that like um, force people to like do certain reports or anything. But yeah, overall, um, it's super, super useful tool. Um, that I would recommend you to have. It's completely free, add it and move all your communication, like normal day-to-day -day communication to here. It means that you won't be sending emails back and forth for every little small thing and it will make it super, super easy to use. So I guess, yeah, uh, to summarize Slack, I would say number one, it'll, it's very easy to use as it's chat. Number two, it will clean up your emails and make it very fast to get through to people and get responses. And number three, it's completely free. So um, yeah, I would just recommend you go and jump on it. All right, so the second one is Trello. Um, this is what Trello looks like. As you can see, it's currently nothing. Um, so I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and set it up to get an idea of how you would use this. And um, I would actually, I'm just telling you like how I use it personally and what I do with my team. Um, as that what well, it works really well so it has what Trello has is it has the ability for you to like create 
um, lists and in those lists you can create um, different tasks but the way it, you, the best way to use Trello in my opinion is doing like an almost like an agile methodology where you kind of have um, a setup which looks like this so imagine in to do we'll be for all the tasks that we have to do so I need to create a website I need to find a manufacturer I need to find a PR agency I need to film content I need to um, hire two people to run um, uh, hire two people for marketing um, you know wherever it is basically um, get an accountant so whatever the tasks you need to do and um, you can have them out there next what I do personally is so those are my overall to-do tasks I would say um, I have this week that means the things I'm gonna do this week so let's say my plan this week is to film content and get an accountant and then the next step for there is like what is in progress and um, so let's say I'm currently filming content and next here would be that it's uh, in review and then completed um so yeah so as as your team let's say if you're using this for your team that's what i would first recommend that a you do this for yourself but also do it for your team you should from here be then moving these across into what's happening so if this was your team um you know they should be moving this over in review in here it's pretty cool you can do stuff like uh where it has to add members you can actually add um who who is in charge of this so if if this is your team member they've done this task they should then add you to it um, and that sends you a notification saying that this is now here so you can then go in and check it in here you can add um any information so like me to film three videos on instagram um, you can add a due date so when do i need to do this by i need to do this by today um, so you know okay you can also add a label um, so which means and then here on the labels you can have different things so let's say and then you can name them i'll call this label waiting for information maybe i'm waiting for some information from somebody to fill my content so i can say okay it's waiting for information i'll label it that um so okay it's currently in review um or because it's i because we put it in review let's just change it to um, let's put a different label on and let's call it um ready to post maybe uh, it just obviously this completely depends on what you're doing i'm just completely making this up um let me just remove this one so yeah so like it's ready to post here it's in review other things you can also do let's do it over here maybe on my website one um, we can create a checklist and what do i need to do for the website you need to find a hosting company you need to buy a domain write all descriptions buy the imagery um, plug in a payment platform so yeah, it's very, very good to be organized. So what I pretty much do, I sit and like organize all my tasks, all the little things I need to do. And um, yeah, super useful. And from here, when it goes into completed, you're like, great. And so this is a very good way. So imagine if you had your team and every team member was doing this, you'll have complete oversight of what everything is happening. When someone is doing a task, it should be in progress. So literally you can get a complete bird's eye view of what thing your team is up to and um, what's currently in progress what's going to happen what's the plan for this week and like that you're pretty much on top of the work so yeah super useful tool um so yeah to summarize why shell is really amazing number one it it'll make you a lot more organized and it'll make you think about tasks a lot more because you are thinking about them as you do this number two it gives you transparency on your team and what your team is doing which is super critical in terms of when you're trying to grow a business it's very important to make sure that the team is actually doing what you want them to do and number three once again is completely free um, so what more could you want you can add your team members you can create teams and you can create a bunch of different boards for different people um, and stay on top of it all like you have a control like this on the left and it's very easy for you to be on top of it all um, so yeah so that's Trello all right so number three is email management so I briefly touched upon this in the beginning 
But the key thing here is obviously everybody uses email. Firstly, I would actually advise to use Gmail for business. It's very easy to use, to add users, to be able to manage them. I personally use that for my business. I actually used to have Outlook in one of my old businesses. I just find it very confusing just the way they lay it out and everything. For me, Gmail is very, very easy to use. Um, the main thing about using Gmail and any other email client is just the organization of it. So, one thing I learned um, in a previous uh, job, which is stuck with me forever, so you should only have things in your inbox that you still need to action. So you should, if someone sends you an email and it's nothing to do with it, you should then file that away, which means that you should put it like under a label and put it away. Um, so I'm gonna quickly show you that now. So here's my um, email. Um, as you can see, I have some unread ones and I have overall 20 emails in my inbox. All of these 20, I currently need to action. So there you go, here's an email from somebody. Um, there's some guy who reached out to me on Instagram. He wants me to come on his podcast. I haven't responded to him yet. As you can see, it's been almost a month. It's not great, but I still have left it in my inbox because I need to respond to this. I can actually do this right now. So I'll say to him, hey, so let's do... Let's do this in November as I am away next week in LA till then. Thanks. So once I've done that, now I've actioned this. I, I should now, basically on the left, you'll see I have these labels, which is I've created. Everyone can create their own. I have my team members. I have some clients. Um, so you can create your own labels. And then from here, I hit my move to in this case, I don't know what to call this. I guess it's just a little bit of things. I'll be a network, I've got one, so here you go. I moved it to network, so that's it, it's gone now. I don't need to do this anymore. Um, so yeah, very, very small thing when it comes to um, when it comes to emails. A very, very small little hack that'll help your inbox become more organized and essentially make you more efficient. So your goal should be that when you go to sleep, like your email is all organized, your Trello is all fixed, and then if you just, if you sleep and everything's sorted, then when you wake up, like you already know exactly what you need to do. You're not waking up like confused, not sure, like, hey, what should I do? What am I doing today? I almost can't sleep without knowing what I'm doing the next day. And like that, I, I'm a lot more efficient and I'm a lot more organized. Um, so yeah, so that'll be number three on Gmail. To sum that up, I would say, it'll help you, yeah, become more organized, a lot more focused. Gmail does have a small cost per user that you have to pay. Uh, but it's super beneficial because with that you get Google Drive and you get the rest of the stuff too. All right, so it brings me on to number four, uh, which is chat apps. So I use WhatsApp a lot for my business and actually that really helps streamline um, communication with outside clients. So if we're in a business, I'm pretty sure you'll have some clients in some way, shape or form. What I would advise you to do is to use WhatsApp. So when you get a client, create a group and add everybody that's going to be involved with that client in that group immediately so it becomes very easy to every day go back and forwards and chat a lot of businesses operate in a way that you know you send an email someone looks at it the email back and it's very formal how i managed to succeed and get build like really good relationship with clients is flipping it basically like talk to your clients like how you talk to your friends honestly like you create a WhatsApp group, start chatting, put funny memes in there, like emojis, whatever, talking slang. If you just be like that with them, is the only way like you kind of break that barrier of like a client and a company like relationship to more of like a casual, happy, easy to talk to because like that you make the best, you get the best business. So if you're running a social media marketing agency, if you're talking to clients in that way, then it becomes so much easier for them to be like, hey man, like this little bit sucks, like can you make this shit again? Rather than like, they're afraid to say that and then, then they don't pay your invoice and then you have issues. It's all because you just want them at level. So you get a level with your client, WhatsApp is the way. So yeah, I would say create groups, start chatting, push to the chat basically, more than anything. I've even signed so many clients because in the first email, I'll be like, hey, what's going on, baby? I'd like to work with you. Drop me a message, here's my number. And honestly, within like an hour or two, I'll get a message like, hey, it's me. Uh, what's going on and that's it the moment that happened they're like cool this is sweet now the conversation can flow similarly just for actually right now this this exact thing just happened with a client in LA 
I asked her to get 1.8 million followers, her name is Danny Bagby. Um, I literally, she added me on WhatsApp, we started chatting. It was only because of that, because it just freed it up that she can message me, I can message her. There's no barriers, it's just so easy. I can leave voice notes. That's again another very powerful thing. Just you can literally just leave voice notes to explain things. Sometimes on email, you're trying to explain something in paragraphs and bullet points, and just voice is so much easier. Um, so yeah, that's my number four, WhatsApp. Again, uh, it will one, bring, make you more comfortable with your clients. That's always the number one. Number two, it will make everyone that's working on a project like aware of what's going on inside and outside the company, so it can be very powerful. And number three, I guess, you know, it is completely free to use and everybody uses it, so it's very, very easy. It's not like, a, it's not hard for people to get, to, to get someone to use it. Um, so yeah, that's my number four. Chat apps, for me, that's what's up. All right, so I'm gonna end the video right there. Um, let me know what you think of this format. I thought I'd do something a bit different by kind of showing you a bit more like how I use different things. I guess people use things in a different way. I'm just telling you what works for me. You know, with the fact that I have a company with 30 employees and how much we've grown, like some processes that I run, I know work really well. And I'm pretty sure it will for you if you give it a chance and trying to put it and use it and stay strict to it, you will get some benefit. So yeah. Hope you like this video, leave it a like. Uh, let me know if you are using any software, some other ones that you think are better. Have you used any of these? Let me know. I love talking about this kind of stuff. So yeah, I'll see you in the next video and um, peace.